Hey, what's up guys? It's Darren here, back with another video. Today is that special video that I've been talking to you guys about over that last video. It is a very exciting uh, package that arrived early last week. So it's been nearly a week now that I've been holding it in my onto my shelf. Um, but I'm very happy that I get to show you guys what it is in the video today. So I believe we got, we'll probably end up looking at um, this special box at first and then might end it off with a couple of packs. But without further ado, this is the amazing product that I've managed to get my hands on. Oh, there it is. It is a big box, as you can see there. I'm not too sure what the translation is, but it is a Japanese product. This was released a couple years ago. Let's slowly do an unboxing. Let's get rid of this plastic. And let's have a closer look in terms of what is inside. A little bit more about the product itself. It was released as a special promo product um, to celebrate um, through the postage services of Japan. There you go, look at that box. I'm actually getting in pretty good condition. There's just a little dent that it's really relatively hard to see actually on the top of this box around this area here. But overall, this is a very pristine looking product. So as you can see, it is a cardboard box. Let's have a look at the back. There you go, a little glimpse in terms of what's inside the box. But let's have a closer look. So let's turn that one back around do a slow reveal inside this box. Oh, there it is. So then the first thing that I want to show you guys are these amazing stamps. There you go. These are all individual stamps that could be taken out if you wanted to. Um, but understand this is a promo product, something that is very collectible, something that is so amazing to have, and I'm very happy that I have this as part of my very tiny collection. You can see the starter Pokemon there. Venusaur, Charizard, Blastoise, a couple of other cards down at the bottom as stamps, and two very, very pretty uh, Japanese-styled uh, artwork on either side of the very sides there. So there you go. That is, these are the, the stamps. And as you can see, that little glitter, that little foil pattern. That's very, very cool. I'll take off this little plastic sheet. And you may have already had a little glimpse of it as I was trying to show you guys, but we'll show you something. The coolest thing at the very end. Now this comes with this deck of playing cards. As you can see there. What cards you get? I think it's Cinderace and Pikachu. There you go. It's still nicely sealed with the little sticker tape right here. So you know that that hasn't been tampered with. And then you take off all these, which I will hide that promo for now. Have a look at the bottom of this box. There's not much in it. There you go. Those are the three things that you saw at the very, very beginning. Got the Eevee, got the Pikachu, got the Charizard. And if you look at the back of these, it's actually postcards. Boom, postcards right there. And the other two look very, very similar to that as well. So we can have a little look before putting it away. Because these are the flagship Pokemon of the Pokemon series. Oh my god, I have a really difficult time taking that one out. Let's have a see if I can show you guys. There you go, that's one. That is the Pikachu, that is the back. And the last one is, of course, Charizard. Or is, what is Pokemon without a Charizard? Oh, very, very difficult to get inside the box. But I want to show you guys each and every product that comes in this, because there's not that many. Okay, and the last one. So that really nice Charizard. And there you go, you can see. Postcard there at the very back. 
So those are the products that you get within this box. Let's pop that little plastic thing back inside. Let's put that little card deck back inside. And then to show you guys the last piece. Oh, there you go. You can see a little bit of that there. It is this seal pack of two beautiful cards. One of them being that amazing, amazing artwork there. And the other one of a cramorant on the other side, di uh, deep diving uh, with that moon in the background. Now I'll be keeping the cards sealed within this so you won't be able to see a close up of the cramorant card. But as you can see, that is just amazing artwork. And what I'm also quite impressed with is the centering of this card. I wonder if I was to get it graded, what it would come back as. But this product initially sold at a very affordable price back in Japan, back when it was originally released. But with a very tight release schedule, not that many of these boxes were released. I managed to get this one at around the $600 mark, which makes this the most expensive <laughs> product in my collection. My very, very small collection, but I just really wanted to get my hands on this card in particular. Um, the PSA 10 for both this Pikachu card and the Cramorant goes for about a thousand Australian dollars at this stage. So I'm very, very happy with this uh, with this box that I've managed to get my hands on. There you go. Look at that. That is just so, so nice. So that is that special product that I've been wanting to show you guys. Put the cover back in this box, put the lid back on, and now let's get cracking with some Pokemon cards. Today we'll be opening three packs, three packs of Fusion Strike, two out of these, three packs, it's got that Gengar art on it, let's see what we get inside. So if you guys have been following this channel and my recent packs, nothing too exciting has come from these packs just yet, but could be in it to win it. You need to believe in the heart of these packs and see what we managed to get. Alrighty, so we'll start off by getting rid of this code card. And it's one, two, three, four cards to the front. So with a Psychic Energy, a Heat more. I don't think we've seen this card yet, so love that. A Schoolgirl card. We got a Mushana. A Impidimp, being very spooky to that substitute. A Snom, one of the cutest Pokemon. A very cute plushie that you can get of this as well. Hey, Onyx, looking very, very grand there. That's very cool. Next card. Hey, Jigglypuff, very cute. Very circular. Next, card will be a Durant. And for the potential hit of this pack, or will it be another reverse? It will be a reverse of a Phalanx. The last card will be a Nefani. There you go. What's it doing? Having a good old time. Alrighty. Couple more packs to go. Let's crack open this fusion strike. Alright. It is the beginning of the week. Hope you guys have had a good start to this week to come. It's Easter holidays at the end of this week. So it will be a short work week, which is always very, very nice. Get rid of that code card. One, two, three, four to the front. Alrighty, let's go with a dark energy and electric. A dance boss. A dancer card. A more pecker. That is a very, very cute card. Not much more said than that. A EV. What a cute Pokemon in this set. As we go into a shelter. Been sucked away by a torrent. A Voltorb. Very similar art style to the Scrub card, actually. Uh, the Crown Xena set. A Pan Sage. Oh, 
It's a pretty nice artwork there. Very Japanese-y. The next art will be a re <laughs> reversal of a pang girl. That actually looks very, very cool, actually, that artwork. And the last card of this pack will be a Kangaskhan doing a back kick. Very, very nice. Nothing too exciting just yet, but that's right. That's oh, okay, we got one more pack to open. Alright, if you guys have enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to leave a like. Leave a comment down below in terms of what you thought of that box that opened up for you guys at the beginning of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more interesting, hopefully interesting content for you guys. And let us go onto this last pack. A water energy spongy glove. A frost moth. A simicia. Very similar to another card, I believe, of the magma. Um, a mud kip in the water. A caterpie. Two or two caterpies, actually. What? What is this? Back to back caterpie cards? That is bent at the top? Not sure what I think about that. Alright, a more peco. Hopefully, that means that there's something good at the back of this pack. How about that? An Eevee. And the next card will be. It is another reverse hollow of a sand gask. And the last card will be a Ori Corio. Looking very, very sparkly. There you go. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Catch you guys next time.